the queue in Java. So, we know that queue is one data structure which supports the first in first out and the last in last out data structure. Queue is a subclass of the class that is the linked list. So, let us go for some further discussion on this queue. The queue in Java collection. The queue is a subclass of the linked list class. To insert element into queue, we can use the add method of the linked list class and also to remove or delete some element from the queue, we can use the remove method uh, accordingly. But queue is also having a separate some dedicated methods defined within the queue class. So, queue also has the method that is a pick method. It is used to return the first element of the queue, not deleting that one. So, these are the different concepts we have shared. So, now let us go for one practical demonstration for your easy understanding. In this program, we have defined one object myq. This object it has been defined under the interface. You can find that in the help we are finding this one as interface. There is a java.util.q. So, java.util is the package name and q is the respective interface. And this queue has got instantiated using is equal to new link list are constructed here. So, how to add members to this queue object that is a my queue. And this my queue will be holding integer that is a wrapper class objects as its member. So, to add the new elements we are going to go for new items we are going to go for this method add. So, using the method add we can add new items to this my queue there is a queue interface object. So, new myq dot add 10, myq dot add 40, myq dot add 50. In this way, we have added five such elements. We know that queue is a data structure which supports first in first out or last in last out. That means we, we, are, we, we can think that this 10 is at the front end of the queue and 50 will be found at the rear end of the queue. So, now if I want to print the number of elements we are having, number of items we are having within, the, within this myq there is a queue interface object. The method is size with the help of size we can print it. How many items we have added here? Five items. So, we are expecting that my queue dot size will print five here. Yes, the queue size is five. Now, we are going to pick the first element. That means in this case, the first element will be read, but it will not get deleted from the queue. And you can find that here we are getting this first element as 10 because 10 is at the front end and 50 is at the rear end. So, the first element will be at the front end. So, the value is 10, but the 10 has not got deleted from the myq object. It is still there. The item is still there. Now, using this while loop, so myq dot is empty. So, when the queue will become empty, then uh, is empty will return true then not of true will become false then we can come out from this while but when this is empty will be returning false that means the queue is still having some items then not of false will become true the while will continue doing the iteration so how to remove elements from the queue that is a my queue dot remove so remove is the method with the help of which you can eliminate the element which will be found at that at the front end of the queue so, the popped item is uh, is this one. Also, in case of popped item, also item you can go for removed item that will be better here. So, the removed item is this one. So, let me go for the execution. You can find that the remove item will be 10, then 40, then 30, then 20, then the rearest uh, object that is the rearmost object that is a 50 is getting printed here. In this way, in this particular demonstration, we have discussed how to define and deal with queue objects. Thanks for watching this video.